start off by talking about last week's performances and just uh, kind of carrying that momentum into this weekend at home. Um, yeah, last week, um, you know, we, for, especially for a road competition, um, I was really happy with the energy, you know, that the team brought in. Um, our warm-ups, um, for the most part, were pretty good. Um, so that was something that we uh, have worked on this week is making sure that we're setting the right tone during the warm-up um, for the competition. But, um, you know, I just need them to bring that same kind of uh, energy in or even more, you know, and, um, and we've got to get a little bit more aggressive. I still feel like we competed a little bit tentative. Um, we're, I'm kind of stuck in this uh, time warp right now as a coach where I, we, you know, we'd be going into maybe our fourth meet at this point. So I keep having to remind myself that, you know, two meets in, they're actually, you know, where we normally would want them to be. So, um, you know, but with a shorter season, I'm well aware that we've got to get there a little bit faster. So uh, we competed still a little bit tentative uh, at Oklahoma and uh, we've got to get a little bit more aggressive there. And there was more attention to detail. Um, you know, we were stuck better landings, um, had better landings on ball, and, uh, you know, it, the handstand work was better on bars. So, and even the floor presentation, I thought, uh, from the weekend before was even better. Uh, you know, and that all comes from confidence. So, uh, but we just need more of that. And uh, this week, that's what we've really concentrated on is... Um, just trying to fine tune and, um, you know, fix very, very small errors here and there that just add up so much and also being confident and being aggressive. And then do you think that the airport delay affected anything with last week's um, away meet? Um, you know, I think it definitely, it, it wears you down, um, you know, especially the athletes. Uh, it, this has already been a very up and down, up and down, <laughs> you know, kind of year where, nothing really goes to plan. Uh, so I think they're, they're used to it from that aspect. Um, but at the same time, you know, th they didn't eat dinner till 1030, you know, Friday night. Uh, so the whole schedule definitely gets thrown off. And then we had transportation issues going from the hotel to, you know, the actual competition. So um, I think that it did affect it. Uh, but I think they handled it in just about as you know, as, as well as they could, uh, if not exceeded, you know, what, um, you know, my expectations would have been. Uh, and it had a very fortunate side effect that it made for some team bonding, which quite honestly has been lacking, you know, for us this year, uh, just with how we're training and how we're isolated and, and uh, you know, some of those things. So there were a lot of laughs and some good memories made. And, you know, at the end of the day, it, it was, a, um, it definitely had a silver lining to it. And then, like you said, they kind of um, pulled themselves together come Sunday's meet. Just how did it feel um, just coming close to being Oklahoma, actually taking the lead going into the third rotation? Yeah, uh, you know, I told him at the time um, when the meet, when actually when the competition was over, I said, you know, I don't remember ever leading Oklahoma going into, um, you know, a third rotation um, like that, you know, and um and I told him, you know, and I, even though in the end we ended up losing, you know, I said, we're, we're the Mountaineers. We always climb. And I said, you know, you guys just let Oklahoma know that we're coming for them one piece at a time, you know, and uh, we're, we're going to keep climbing that mountain and, uh, and we're, we're in hot pursuit. So it's, um, the, the meet was a lot of fun. Um, they, their attitude was really positive. Um, a lot of smiles, even when we made mistakes, there was a lot of team uh, cohesion and unity, you know, letting people know that that's why they have teammates, you know, that somebody else is going to step up and, and, uh, and help out. And uh, so it just was, you know, it's been a long time since we've competed. That being said, it was definitely one of the most united team uh, meets that I remember in recent history. Um, they just really came together. And I've seen that this week in the gym as well. So, um, you know, that makes my job easier, obviously, um, but it's definitely going to affect our performance uh, in a positive way. And then just building off of that, um, how does everyone feel about this Sunday's meet? You know, they're excited. Uh, Iowa State is a great team. Um, you know, they 
they uh, continue to get better and better. And uh, so far this year, you know, they're doing very well. Um, so it's going to be a great competition. Um, they're also excited about, you know, having fans in the Coliseum. And uh, so I know that they've been putting it on their social media and, and uh, trying to get the word out like we are, you know, so I hope we'll, we'll have some, uh, a decent turnout for that. And, um, and then they're just excited to once again, be back in the Coliseum. We're still trying to upgrade some events, upgrade some skills. We have some people that, um, you know, haven't got a chance to compete yet on certain events. And so we're, we're still testing all that out. And uh, so it's going to be a little bit of an unknown you know, as we go into it, but this team seems to be thriving under, um, you know, the, uh, not adversity, but sort of thriving under the, just the, no plan ever works out the way that it's supposed to right now. And it hasn't, you know, for the past nine months and uh, they've learned just to kind of adapt and go with it. And uh, so uh, I think they're just excited to go in there and see what happens. And then uh, third meet of the season, uh, last meet to go, or one more month to go. What are your expectations kind of just heading into the rest of the season? Yep. Well, you know, it's uh, the way our rankings uh, work this year is a little bit different. Um, instead of the six scores, you know, we need four scores. Um, that being said, it is a shorter season. We have less opportunities to do it. Um, the score this weekend, I think, is going to be very important Um confidence wise, you know, just knowing that they have the ability, I would love to see all those little mistakes get fixed and us push that envelope um, and exceed a 196. I know that we are perfectly capable of doing that. And um, I would love to see a mid 196, you know, and, um, and then having the, the two home meets in a row, you know, and they're back to back almost. <clears throat> and, um, so I think we can just continue to get that ball rolling. And then, you know, we have the uh, trips to Denver and trip to Iowa State. And we just got to keep a slow momentum, a slow wave going and not get overly caught up in scores and rankings and things like that. And uh, making sure we're peaking at Big 12 and uh, two weeks later at regionals.